Law enforcement agencies across the state have seen an uptick in human smuggling arrests over the past few years. That includes our very own deputies from the Wichita County Sheriff's Office. That's one of the reasons county commissioners met last week to authorize a memorandum of understanding between immigration and customs enforcement and also local law enforcement. Josh Hardard was at this morning's county commissioners meeting. He joins us now with more. Josh. Yeah, guys, so that MOU was signed last week during the commissioner's court meeting. Today's meeting, Wichita County Sheriff David Duke, he went into details with commissioners about how local authorities are to address the immigration issue right here in Wichita County. Illegal immigration. It's an issue that state lawmakers are still working to address. More illegal immigrants crossed our border last year than any year in the history of the United States of America. It's being felt across the state of Texas, even hundreds of miles north of the Texas and Mexico border right here in Wichita County. The amount of uh, illegals that we're catching on 287 and 82 that's coming through, being, being smuggled through Wichita County, we made several smuggling cases on the, the individual involved with it. Wichita County Sheriff David Duke says traffickers will now smuggle people across Arizona's more porous border, then bring people from Arizona through Wichita County and then on to major metropolitan areas in the state. And it's leading to more and more human smuggling cases. When we make these traffic stops, we have these people that are, you know, from we've seen some six to 15 in vehicles and we have to do something with these people. We just can't put the driver in jail, take his car, and to put these people on the side of the, of the street somewhere in Wichita Falls or Electra or Owl Park, it's not right to do that to those individuals anyway. And it's that exact problem county commissioners are hoping to address after they approved a memorandum of understanding last week between the Sheriff's Office and Homeland Security. For our criminal interdiction unit guys, uh, they'll become task force officers through Homeland Security for the, for the Immigration and Border Patrol. It gives the Sheriff's Office the ability to begin working on new cases as soon as they discover them. And this will actually give us, the, the, we'll fall under the umbrella with Homeland Security through Immigration and Border Patrol. Uh, so give us some more authority to do things on our own here. And the extra workload on those deputies won't raise taxes for the residents of Wichita County. Uh, what this MOU will do is uh, for the overtime that our deputies in, uh, incur, uh, under them, since they're going to be task force officers with the Homeland Security, they'll pay the overtime for these individuals. So that money isn't taken from the county, Wichita County taxpayers. But most importantly, having deputies certified as HSI task force officers allows for more humane treatment of those taken into custody instead of being forced to leave them on the street. So we're able to detain those people and uh, Homeland Security and Immigration will come up here and pick them up and take them back to to be the Abilene or Fort Worth. So once they're at our facility, they're going to get the same complement of, from food to uh, medical treatment if they need it within those few hours before Border Patrol picks them up. Now, Sheriff Duke said for the time being, the Sheriff's Office has two deputy HSI task force officers. They may add more in the future as they are needed and as his operation grows. Okay, Josh, thank you so much for breaking all of that down for us.